Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. And this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you like the videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'd love you to have you on board. If you like the video and it resonates with you, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. This is nice. Look at this. Definitely using your intuition to manifest something here, Sagittarius. Um, remember the readings, though, do flip-flop. They may not resonate with you if they don't remember to move on and find another reader or find a reading that resonates. I am using the before tarot here. And this is your reading. Okay, so I have the Queen of Pentacles coming up first. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo here. This person is very down to earth, very grounded, maybe a little bit focused on their finances, but the Queen of Pentacles loves her earthly pursuit. She loves nature. She's very motherly, often comes across as the wife or the partner of a person. We do have the judgment card coming out here. So it'd be interesting to see where this is going because... The Ten of Wands. Oh, okay. Someone's putting down some sort of relationship here, some sort of situation to move forward. Um, they could be moving towards this person or away from this person, but definitely this change coming through here, allowing you to have a second chance or a rebirth at something in your life that perhaps you thought was lost. Okie dokie. So first off, we have the sun coming out. So the sun is a beautiful card. It's the nicest card in the deck. It took talks of joy and happiness and having everything that you want. Beautiful card. Happy family, happy life. It's like the, oh, excuse me, like the Ten of Cups in the Major Arcana, in the Minor Arcana. And then we have the Devil. So we have two Major Arcana cards coming out here. So the Devil is a card that has lots of meanings. It's about obsession and bondage. It's about um, ego codependency, narcissism, it's all of those things that take things to the extreme, not being able to release yourself from something. But when I look here and you have the sun, I'm feeling like you're releasing yourself from some energy that's held you back for a very long time and wanting to move forward and work on something. Now, for some of you, this could be about work. Being we have this card at the beginning of the uh, Capricorn, and this is Capricorn as well, it's quite likely you're dealing with someone who could be a Capricorn. Um, but wanting to work on something, wanting to be able to leave something behind and work on something new here. Okay, so I have the Page of Wands coming out here. Um, and the Page of Wands talks of some sort of message, some sort of, maybe you're thinking of sending a message to someone, maybe you've just got out of something, want to work on something with someone new, see a great deal of happiness. This could be per a person that's been in your life before and you're returning to them for whatever reason. You may have got yourself trapped in something quite negative here, something karmic. Um, could be that you've released addictions, um, maybe you sort of, dropped your ego a little bit maybe you've been working on understanding the part that the ego plays in life but you're definitely working on something to release yourself here so we have the hierophant here so the hierophant does talk about lots of major arcanas again um it does talk about commitment tradition long-term tradition like marriage can talk about organizations like churches and government organizations here so for some of you, you may be getting offered a job that's much better than the job you had before. And it could be a job in a school, government organisation, that type of thing. Some sort of big organisation. Something that's making you happy here. OK, so I do have the lover's card coming out for you. So for some of you, this is a choice about moving away from the old and into the new. And then the two of cups. Some of you dealing with somebody here in your life that could be very um, a very long-term soulmate, um, can be twin flame with both of these cards coming out together and the sun. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio here as well. Could be that you've just got your emotions to a place where they are serving you better. Okay, we'll give it a once over anyway. Ace of Swords coming out here. So a brand new start, being clear, 
moving away from something that no longer serves you here. Sagittarius, beautiful reading. Okay, to me it looks like you're having a new start or a new birth. So you're racing in here with this sword that you've got here to express a truth to someone. I have a strong feeling you may have known this person and you may have got into something in between. You may have had a choice of lovers or you may have moved away from a person and accepted someone else in your life who didn't turn out to be the way they looked. There's a strong feeling here that you're moving towards someone who is your life partner or a twin flame. There's a very strong feeling that you're about to offer someone a commitment here. You want to work on a relationship that you realise will bring them joy and bring you a great happiness. Um, there's some sort of message going out here, something passionate you're sending out just to say to this person you're single again and you'd like to see them and work on something here. Um, you're definitely moving away from something though and you've learned a lot of lessons here and I feel like there's this great feeling that you have come to a conclusion that you know this person that you left behind was your person. Now do remember the readings do flip flops it could be the other person coming towards you because they've realized that you are their person. So the card here is about meditation and I often think people say, when you say meditation, think that they have to do a lot of it. And it only takes a couple of minutes a day to just get out of your head. So the universe, or your higher self, your God, whatever you think of from your the energy you work with, whoever's bringing these messages down to you, because meditation stills your mind. And when your mind is still, you're able to bring in the messages that are coming through to you that are true. They're from your intuition. Um, when your mind is busy, not only do you not leave the space for the messages to come through, but the messages may come from your ego rather than your true self. So make sure that you are trying to find some time in a day just to make your mind quiet just for a few moments, Sagittarius. Thank you.